Okay, this is how to add an event, an RSVP event. So you go to events, go to add event on the top right corner, click on RSVP event, continue. Put in any information you have for the event here, for the event name. Put a short description of what it is. Here you'll add a picture for it. There's a folder called events and this will have all the, the pictures that, that were on the Facebook page. You'll find that here. If you want to add a picture, a different one, you just click upload media and you'll pull it from your computer and add it. You can see the picture shows up here. We put the date and time of the event. If you have an end time, you can put that here. If you don't, you can just leave it open. And if you're unsure, you can put time is to be determined. And you can always come back to this event when you know the information and plug this in. And it will change it on the website for you. Physical location, here you'll put in the location of the event. It's connected to Google Maps, so it's gonna pull up the directions on how to get there. There you go. And if you're unsure, you can also put location is to be determined. And then come back later on and add that. If you have a video conference, this is something you can add. If you have an event schedule, you can plug that in here. In other words, if let's say it's park day and you have lunch in between 12 and one, you can put that information there so that parents know what time to expect lunch. And here you'll just put the rest of the information you have on the event and you hit create event. Now this event is officially on the website under RSVP events. From here you go to registration, go to registration settings, click edit. Where do you guess register? They'll be registering here. Registration for this event is open. Um, we did talk about having it closed at certain times when it reaches a certain point of guests. From there you can mark it closed. And it will show up on the event events page as a closed event. So we'll keep this one open. If you have unlimited guests, like on park days, you can keep it as is. Or if it's limited guests, you can put the number you want. And when the guest list reaches the max, you can close the registration or you can add guests to a wait list. Typically, we're going to go with add guests to a wait list. Event permissions, we want to always click only site members and then you'll click save. We'll take a step back and then we'll go to customize your registration form. Click edit. We'll always leave this unchecked. Registration form title. You can add your own details here. As you can see, everything on this side is the form preview. So when you make changes here, you'll see it show up here and this is what the member will see on the events page. So right now we have first name, last name, and email required. We're going to go ahead and add, let's do a custom question. Anything else we should know. And it depends on what information you want here. If you want the parent's name and age and the children as well, you can put that question here and then short text or long text depending on the question for them to answer. You can also add drop down menus. You'll just put any option here and followed by a comma and then it will register. And you'll hit the check mark. 
If you need to make any changes, you can go just hover over these things and click the pencil to edit and make your changes here. The drop down menu does not have a required to answer tab. However, if you change it to multiple choice or check boxes rather, this info can become required. And then you have your submit button here and you can change that name if you want to as well. So you can see it's updated with the information that we have and we'll click save. We'll go back to park day and that's really all you need to do on the registration page. If you want to add policies you can do that here. Um, these are the follow-up messages that the members get after they fill out the form. Let's go to emails. You can get updates when guest RSVP. If you don't want to get updates or you want to get it per RSVP, you can turn that off or you can turn it on. You can get them daily or you can get it every single time somebody registers. It just depends on how often you want your notifications to pop up when someone registers. I would play with this just to see what works for y'all. The other options you have is confirmation. I guess no, their spot is confirmed. And this is all just standard messages that are on here. You can always go through here and edit it and change what the, what the uh, member will see after they fill these out. And you can also create your own automations. Okay, so anybody who wants to do that, please get with me and I can train you specifically on that. Once you, create, once you get to the end here, you have guest list. You can start inviting guests, so you can create an invitation. And this is all stuff that you'll edit, but these are the different types of email campaigns you can send out. That's another thing. Just get with me on that if you would like to learn how to send, set one of those up. And you can also add guests manually. So if you know people have already registered on the Facebook page, you can go in here and just put in their information and then they'll be added to the list automatically. And that's how you set up your RSVP events, your standard ones.